actually a bit of myself, so my name is Khan. I'm uh, from the company Niska, so uh, I'm a partner of it. So I think at this uh, talk will be like more suitable for the e-commerce store owner and uh, from a user perspective, more than like, from a developer side. Um, but so in during the talk, if you have any question, I just uh, feel free to interrupt me and ask any question. Um, so this will be like our research for the past few months about the trend of e-commerce in the past few years and especially like this year and last year. Uh, so we will talk about like, three trends. Firstly, like how the mobile commerce has evolved in the past few years compared to the PC commerce as a whole. And secondly, it would be like how personal experience, shopping personal experience is increasingly important in order to, for you to close the sales online. And lastly, it would be like how wearable data we play in a very vital role in the future. And we have seen it's coming, uh, especially this year. And lastly, it would be like uh, how you can tap on this trend to increase your sales and traffic. Um, so the first one would be like the trend. If you look at the graph, uh, you can see that actually like the mobile commerce has grown by an average annually around 55% compared to only the PC is around 10% every year. And by 2020, right, the mobile commerce would be account for around 45% of the total e-commerce market. And that would translate to around uh, 200 million plus in the US market alone. And so the question is, like, uh, is your store, uh, is it ready for mobile commerce yet? Is your website mobile responsive? And do you have a mobile presence? For example, we have mobile apps for the stock. And if not, then we are like, we lagging behind for some time. And the second thing would be like about how personalized shopping experience is very important for you to close the sale now. Because if you look at the graph now, yeah, this is really small, but here we travel. So for travel, right, around 85% of the customer going to your site actually abandon the car. And if you look at all sectors, so across all sectors, it's around 75%. So imagine that for users going to your e-commerce site, uh, they have like up the product into the cart, but eventually they still abandon the cart. So that lead to a lot of like, loss of sales and a lot of like time and spend on marketing and everything. So about shopping experience, I would like uh, to emphasize on the three questions, very simple. Is it easy? Is the shopping experience very rich? And lastly, is it personalized? Uh, we'll address like, these three questions at the end of the talk. And lastly, it would be like, how the wearable data will transform the e-commerce market. Uh, we have like, heard a lot about the internet of things, but now like, a new term has come out, is like, the internet of me. Because uh, everything, uh, the user has uh, increasingly demand a shopping experience that like, centered around themselves. They want everything to be about themselves, not about anyone else. So, first of all, in the US, like, there are around like, 40 million users of like, wearable devices, just uh, like Fitbit. And that's really around 60% increase like, compared to 2014. And so, like, some, some of the trends could be like, emerging in the next few years. So for example, like check out on the move will be transformed. And we, we, you can imagine a scenario, for example, like a user is like scanning Facebook and they see your product. They will resume to view the product on your website. However, because they're in a rush, so they stop the shopping experience for a while. However, if you have a mobile app, you can send a push notification to remind them, actually, you have having this product, do you still want to continue your purchase? And lastly, they can continue to make the purchase like finish the checkout using their wearable device. So there's a point line between like the channel. So now it's the only channel to be very connect connected between PC commerce, mobile commerce, and also the wearable commerce. Uh, so we call it like the omni-channel experience. You need to connect to your um, the customer via many channels as possible. 
And lastly, I would like to say about like, how you can increase your traffic to the site and also like how to increase sales eventually. Uh, this be basically lastly on my experience as a, a salesman of my company as well. So for the like for Omni Channel, uh, the the lesson I learned for the past few years doing e-commerce is that we need to leverage on the very high traffic e-commerce site because like one of the top challenge when a shop owner open e-commerce website is like to get the traffic to their site, and if your e-commerce site is very new. So it's very hard for you to get the traffic to your site. So what we did is that we will split our product between a high traffic site and our site. So first of all, we have like this product. Uh, the main product will sell it on the inventory market. However, if the customer want to purchase the additional plugin, they will need to come to our site. So we have a lot of traffic coming from inventory market directed to our site in order to view the plugin. So uh, this ma this pro we have like just run this market for I mean this website for around one month and we have around a like hundred um, hundred visitor daily. That's it's quite not bad. And um, the lesson is that we need to leverage on the high traffic side and drive the traffic to our site as much as possible. And uh, you see in the social media. Uh, we have a lot of social media now today for the pinchers like Quora, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and everything. So how do you manage your social presence is very important. So for myself, I use uh, this tool named like Buffer. So the best thing about Buffer is that they will optimize your social media content for you. They will optimize the, the length of the post, also like the image of the post. And they also like determine like what is the best time for you to post your content. So that will help your content to reach out to as many customers as possible. And the best thing is that it has a free plan as well. So you can try uh, Buffer for free. Uh, and you can connect around like five social media for free and they don't charge you anything. Um, another thing about SEO is about to manage your backlinks. So for, my, for us, like, we use something called Majestic. So I think like, probably most of you have known it. Uh, what we do is that we will try to analyze our competitor site uh, to see like, what backlink do they get. So for example, if you are selling candies, so you want to run uh, analysis on your competitor and see where do they get all the referral from. Uh, by knowing your competitor, right, you can approach the site where do they get the, um, uh, the referral and you can try to pitch to them to get some backlink from them. And the thing I learned is that do not try to approach a, a, I mean like a site that's like much bigger to yours because that they're very unwilling to help you. However, instead, you should like try to approach the site that's like of a similar size to you, so they are more willing to help you. And also, like in return, you can help them to promote their products as well. So, that's a, so if you see here, we got most of the traffic from uh, the inventory market. <coughs> Uh, about um, the personalized experience, so here are some of the very easy for you like, to embed into the website to increase your, the personal aspect of your shopping experience. Uh, firstly, like, your website needs to be mobile responsive for sure. And it is even better for you to have mobile commerce and mobile app. Uh, because like, there's something uh, the mobile responsive web the cannot like, carry out. Uh, so for example, you cannot have like push notification to your customer. You also like cannot have a lot of like videos that like, running on the the website. Otherwise, I mean the performance will be hor horrible. And um, so some of the tip that we use on our site to increase like the personalizing aspect of our site is that for example, we use something like the Zoom chat. Uh, the best thing about Zoom chat is that they will try to retain the customer on your site as long as possible. So, I mean, if you look at here, before we use the Zobeam chat, the average time a customer spent on our site is really around two minutes. However, after we have this plugin inside, the average time increased by around like 75%, and it increased to around three minutes. So the more time right, a customer spent on your site, I mean, the more they will like, surf through your site and see all the features that you can offer, and eventually, most of them will make a sales after they know the product very well. And um, the second thing is about e email subscription. I think it's pretty obvious. But the thing is that don't spam your customer. Because uh, if you spam a lot, then 
yeah, you got blacklisted and your email doesn't deliver anymore. And discount, uh, not like a very generic discount, but in my opinion, we only should discount to like our very like frequent customer because I it show we very treasure them a lot value like our loyalty. And lastly, to have videos on your site, I think like video c increase a lot of engagement in my experience. So a one minute video that can deliver the value, the main value of your product, will increase a lot of value of your site. Um, about the mobile apps, so uh, sh there's a lot of like uh, mobile app builder online. So for us, like we create this product for all the Magento uh, developer as well as the store owner. So what does do is that we can convert your e-commerce site to something like to the native mobile app, and it doesn't require any programming language. What you need to do is that you only need to configure the site and link it into mobile app, and you can have a native mobile app, and you can run it on both iOS and Android. And uh, currently, we, always, uh, we support most of the transaction on PayPal, uh, Stripe, Molly, and also like support push notification. And in the future, we are going to run more plugins. So that we are going to have a, a custom chat. We also like have uh, more. We are going to like plan on running more AI on this side. So I mean, like we will like have a smart suggestion. So currently, we only sell this product for only twenty dollar, and it's currently it's full integration with Magento, and it's this one is like fully synchronized to your e-commerce store. So for the if you update your product on your website, it will be updated automatically on the mobile app. So you can see this one as a way for you to reach out to your customer via mobile app itself. It's not mobile responsive, but it's a native mobile app, and the experience will be much different. And that's about it. Thanks for your attention. I mean, if you have any question, like feel free to ask me. Sure. Yeah, sorry, uh, just now you talked about the card abandonment being very high. Sure. So you talk about the three factors, is it easy, rich, or personalized? Can you, yeah, can you elaborate more on that? Uh, which one? Uh, the easy and rich. Easy and rich. Yeah. Um, because like, we do a, ma a market research of around like, 65 marketers, and they say that the top priority to on the e-commerce market will be like, to increasing to improve their shopping experience of the customer. Uh, the, I mean, if you know about e-commerce market very well, so the top two reasons for why a shopper going online instead of going physically is that firstly is the convenience, and secondly is up the, the price. So easy means that is it very easy for you to check out? For example, if you look at Amazon, right, they have the one-click checkout. So why? Because they want to make they do not want you to have like buyer. I mean, like you delay your purchase decision for so long. So it need to be like very easy for you. I mean, for a customer to complete the checkout as soon as possible. So you need to be like have the card and then like customer go in and make the purchase very quickly. Uh, you do not like want to like ask so many questions. I mean, email like sign in, sign up, everything. Because of that the, the more you delay the purchase decisions, the higher chance that the customer will abandon the, the card. And um, the rich, because I like, uh, mostly, in my I mean, in my own observations, most of the e-commerce store now like look pretty much similar. I mean, they had a product and everything. So the question is like, how do you make yourself different from the rest? So do you have a video like that sells your product very well? Is it very like visual engaging? And do you have mobile app to like have a push notification? Maybe just like to send out a promotion or something. That's like, some question you want to consider. And a personal I mean, it's the all about the internet of me. So if I I go on a shop and I see a very personal experience, would you like to pur make the, pur the purchase, or would you like just like going somewhere else? Like, I mean, you see, like there's no difference to the rest. Uh, I think like one of the the experience so far is I, I observe some of the site. They do, you use your PIM. And I mean, if you stay for a site around like 10 seconds, what they do is that they will have a prompt. They say, how can I help you? 
So a robot will just say, hello, my name is Aya, and then how can I help you? Uh, I'll be, I'm, I'm seeing you viewing like, the main product. So do you have uh, any question to ask me? I mean, it's auto, but I mean, like, that will increase like, the personal experience by much more extent. And it's like, very easy to apply. And I think that's very uh, effective as well. Hmm. Uh, actually, I will be available. So I mean, if you do not ask now, you can ask later. Hey, thanks a lot for your attention. Hey.